Hi, on my workbench today, a hot plate with heat lamps from Royal Catering. A device great as an addition to any canteen, uh, on a buffet, in a hotel, uh, or from my point of view, also in a restaurant as a hot pass, so a place where you would uh, serve all your hot dishes for your service to pick up and deliver to your customers. So let me go through all the main components and all the basic parts and technical details. So first of all the device is made completely out of stainless steel which is great because stainless steel is heat resistant, it doesn't bend, uh, it's sort of scratch resistant so uh, it will look good for a long time which is important because you're putting this device in front of your customers or on a pass in your open kitchen or whatever. Uh, so it is important for it to look good and um, talking about look, looking good also very easy to clean and maintain because with stainless steel all you need to do is just wipe it down with a damp cloth with a bit of soap don't use scouring or uh, corrosive detergents because you may damage uh, the steel on it um, just wipe it down uh, disinfect once in a while uh, I tend to use uh, either a water vinegar solution for uh, to make it shiny or a window cleaner just every now and then just make sure you wipe it dry with a paper towel afterwards uh, so this particular device has the length of 120 centimeters the depth of 50 centimeters so you can arrange your plates uh, really nicely on it. Uh, talking about plates, um, remember the surface is hot, uh, the heat radiates from the lamps downwards, so you have to be careful what kind of uh, plates you're using, make sure they're heat proof or just use gastronome containers designed to be put uh, on a buffet like this. So this device works with 2 kilowatts of power, so it's quite uh, powerful. Uh, just let me show you how it works. So basically there's only three controls. There's a temperature dial that you can set between 30 and 110 degrees. But to be honest with you, you probably never end up using the 110 degrees because this is not made for cooking. This is merely designed to keep your dishes warm. So I always use it between 60 and 80 degrees depending what I have on my buffet. So let's just set it up the temperature. Then you have two switches, one turns off, two turns on the heat lamps, there's actually four of them underneath, um, the other one so, uh, switches on the uh, heating plate. So this light, this indicator light, you will see it blinking during service, that's, why, that's because uh, the automated heat, uh, heat uh, temperature control sorry, um, they will switch off the heating element on and off in order to maintain the preset temperature value. All right. So, if you're looking for catering equipment and especially for heat plates, just have a look at the website. There's a whole range of these devices with different parameters, different setups, different materials used, and of course different, different price ranges. So you'll find definitely the set that you need most for your venue. Uh, the producer Royal Catering gives you a three-year warranty with this particular device and will be posted to you disassembled. So uh, the hood and the stand come separately. Uh, of course in the same box but uh, is disassembled uh, you have to just put it together uh, we'll be positive in a really sturdy cardboard box just let me show you a bit of it with lots of packaging material in it for a safe trip to your place so nothing should happen to it no matter what the delivery guy does to it all right also inside of the box you will find one of these this is the uh, instruction manual called Bedienungsanleitung and well there's a lot of information on how to uh, prepare the device for its first use, how to operate it, how to clean it and so on and all the technical details are inside so definitely a good read. Alright so if you found this informative just leave me a comment in the comment section what other equipment you want me to test. Remember I'm your hands-on expert. I thank you guys very much for watching and I see you next time.